Hi everyone, I'm John from ProJake Labs and this is session number two, Introduction to ANSYS Workbench. This video will take you through the introduction of ANSYS Workbench, which includes topics like command menu, UI, and other features of ANSYS. ANSYS Workbench, developed by ANSYS Inc. USA, is a computer-aided finite element modeling and finite element analysis tool. In the graphical user interface of ANSYS Workbench, the user can generate 3D and FEA models, perform analysis, and generate results of analysis. You can perform a variety of tasks ranging from design assessment to finite element analysis to complete product optimization analysis by using ANSYS Workbench. After completing this chapter, you will be able to understand the types of system, understand different types of cells, understand the graphic user interface of the Workbench window, start a new project in ANSYS Workbench window, add the first and subsequent analysis system to a project, set units for project. So let's get started. To launch ANSYS Workbench, go to Start, then click on All Programs, and then click on ANSYS, and select the option Workbench from here. Alternatively, you can start ANSYS Workbench by double-clicking on the Workbench shortcut icon displayed on the desktop. Thank you, John, for setting up the background. Now, it's time to get into details of ANSYS Workbench interface. After the necessary files are loaded and licenses are verified, the Workbench window along with the Getting Started window will be displayed on the screen as shown here. The Getting Started window guides you to use the interface of ANSYS Workbench effectively. To close this window, click on OK button. This is main ANSYS Workbench window. Various components of Workbench window like Menu Bar, Standard Toolbar, Toolbox window, Project Schematic window and Status Bar are discussed next in this session. The Toolbox window comprises of four systems, Analysis Systems, Component Systems, Custom Systems, and Design Exploration. The Toolbox window lists the standard and customized templates or the individual analysis components that are used to create projects. Next item is Project Schematic Window. The Project Schematic Window helps to manage an entire project. It displays the workflow of entire analysis project. In the Project Schematic Window, when you click on the down arrow available at the top right corner, a flyout is displayed with various options to close, float, restore, minimize and maximize the project schematic window as you can see on your screen also. Menu bar is located on the top of the workbench window and contains various options such as file, view, tools and so on. These options enable you to control and manage the files of the current project. The above highlighted area is Standard Toolbar. The Standard Toolbar is a collection of the frequently used tools in ANSYS Workbench. The various tools available in the Standard Toolbar are New, Open, Save, Save As, Import, Reconnect, Refresh Project, Update Project and so on. You can use these tools to create new projects, open existing ones, Save a project. Save a project to a different location with a different name. Import a project from another source. Refresh project status after changes are made to it. Update a project to its latest status and so on. In ANSYS Workbench, you can invoke most of the tools by using a shortcut menu displayed by right-clicking anywhere in the Workbench window.
To start working on a new project, you need to add an appropriate analysis or component system to the project schematic window and then define the tasks to be carried out. To create a project, drag a particular analysis or component system from the toolbox window and drop it into the project schematic window. Alternatively, you can double click on a particular analysis or component system in the toolbox window to add it to the project schematic window and to create the project. Now we will learn to rename the system. After a system is added to the project schematic window, its name will be highlighted at the bottom of the system. Specify a name for the system and press Enter. You can also rename an existing project by double clicking on the name of current project. Alternatively, click on the black down arrow displayed at the upper left corner of the analysis system. A flyout will be displayed. Choose the rename option and enter the new name. Now, learn to duplicate a system. To duplicate a system, select the down arrow available at the top left corner of the selected system. A flyout is displayed. Choose the duplicate option. Next is deleting a system from a project. To delete a system from the project schematic window, right click on its name displayed in the title bar. A shortcut menu will be displayed. Choose Delete option. How to save the current project? Whenever you start a new analysis project, the title bar of the workbench window displays Unsaved Project Workbench. This indicates that the current project is not saved yet. To save the current project, click on the Save button from the standard toolbar and browse to the location where you want to save the current project and then specify its name in the file name edit box. Next, click on the Save button. The project will be saved at the specified location. After saving the project, the title bar of the workbench window will display the name you have specified while saving the project. Next, we'll learn to open an existing project. To open an existing project, click on the Open button from the standard toolbar. Browse to the location where the project file is saved. Then click on Open. The Workbench window helps streamline an entire project to be carried out in ANSYS Workbench. In this window, one can create manage and view the workflow of the entire project created by using standard analysis systems. The workbench window mainly consists components of a system. An item that is added from the toolbox window to the project schematic window is known as system and the constituent elements of the system are known as cells. Each cell of a system plays an important role in carrying out a project such as engineering data, geometry, model, setup, 
solution and results. The engineering data cell is used to define the material to be used in the analysis. The geometry cell is used to create, edit or import the geometry that is used for analysis. To create a geometry, double click on the geometry cell. The design modeler window will be displayed. In that window, you can create a new model or geometry. What is model cell? The model cell will be displayed for mechanical analysis system and is used to discrete geometry into small elements, apply boundary and load conditions, solve the analysis and so on. On double clicking on this cell, the mechanical window will be displayed. In other words, this cell is associated with the mechanical window. Understanding Setup Cell The setup cell is used to define the boundary conditions of an analysis system, such as loads and constraints. This cell is also associated with the mechanical workspace. Next is Solution Cell. The solution cell is used to solve the analysis problem based on the conditions defined in the cells above the solution cell. This cell is also associated with the mechanical workspace. And finally, results cell. The results cell is used to display the results of the analysis in the user specified formats. This cell is also associated with the mechanical workspace. States of a cell in an analysis system All cells display some visual symbols on their right to indicate their current status. This helps the user understand the next step in the analysis process as well as understanding the overall status of an analysis. Go through the table shown here to understand more about states of symbols. Next item is adding second system to a project. The second or the subsequent system can be added in the project schematic window in two ways, either as a stand-alone system. Or as a connected system that shares data with an existing analysis system. In a project, multiple stand-alone systems are preferred in case of performing analysis for various components of an assembly. In this way, analysis of all components of an assembly can be kept and managed in a single analysis project. The connected analysis systems are preferred more for conducting coupled analysis where data from the first analysis system can be used or shared with the next analysis system. Adding connectors. There are two ways in which you can add connectors between cells of different systems in the project schematic window. In the first method, drag the cell from one system and drop it in the corresponding cell of another system. Connectors will be added between the systems which indicates that the data is shared. In the second method, drag the system from the toolbox window to the project schematic window and move the cursor over the cell of the existing system with which you want to share the data. A red rectangle will be displayed on the right of the existing system with text written inside the rectangle. The text will give you information about the cells with which the data will be shared by the new system. 
drop the selected analysis system over the desired cell of the existing analysis system. Specifying a geometry for analysis. In ANSYS Workbench, geometry can be specified in two ways. In the first method, you can import a geometry created by using any other solid modeling software. This is most common and efficient way of performing analysis. In the second method, you can create a new geometry in the Design Modeler application of ANSYS Workbench. You can open the Design Modeler window by double-clicking on the geometry cell. This is all about ANSYS Workbench. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day.